Welcome back to the channel guys in the vault performance today. Uh, a little breezy outside so I thought I could share some uh, good information but in a different format. So stuff you can do at home, especially you're up there uh, in the north uh, in the winter months here. Obviously if you got a place to hit that's amazing but if you're only swinging in the house and you want to improve your game this is a great way to do it. Uh, I have a great drill for transition. So this is for players that end up going too lateral in that first move so their lead hip doesn't react the way that we want. The club gets a little bit under so from this way it would sort of look like this gets a little bit too far behind them, hard to get it compressed uh, from that position. So uh, what I do for this one, it's a fun one. So I'm going to set up like this. So I put my left foot in it just like this. This is going to create a little tension. So if I end up going too lateral that way, I feel the band really pull me. Okay, so I, I'm just going to put it above my knee. I don't want to write on it. So here, so it's pulling me this way. So first thing I would do is if I take this foam roller, so I have, I got some pretty good tension on this. So I go up to the top and then as I start to come down, I still let my lower body move a little bit, but then I create tension back into the band to stabilize. And this foam roller is a nice visual for the club continuing to move around me, right? So if I'm going up to the top, so I get to here, this is pulling me forward, I'm reacting, stabilizing, and then the foam roller comes around, that's gonna help me let this club sort of swing around my body versus if I was this type of player, I'm used to the club going out and away from me. So this way, everything's working around, creating a nice bit of tension through here. And I'm moving the club around me, so obviously that would be a really nice post-impact position there. And then I can drop this. I can even do it a little bit with the club. So the same idea, get up to the top, feel a little bit of lower body move, then stabilize, and then let the club move around me. And then the third step of that is drop the band. Oh, there we go. Drop the band, get up to the top, feel that same sense working through that motion, and you'll really start to feel your leg, especially your left hip, start to fire up, and then you can move the club around you, uh, making it a lot easier to stabilize the face versus if I was this type of player, right? Sort of that way and that way, or stabilize and then work around. It's a lot different motion, uh, a lot easier to control the club face that way. Give that one a try, definitely go slow. Don't put too much tension on that band at the start. Uh, it will definitely wake up some muscles if you end up, if you're a player that was getting too much lateral in that downswing and moving into the ball a little bit. If you need any more help for your game or you wanna book a lesson, check the description below, tylermediagolf.com.